I'm Jomica and welcome back to our Minecraft modded series. It is episode 2 and today I think I'm going to try to set up a windmill. Uh, that'll get us some electricity coming down. Uh, I think the plan is to put it up top somewhere up here, probably at the top of this mountain. I'm sure there's more wind up at the top. Um, and then we'll try to route it down into this area so we can always have some power and then we'll kind of go from there. So first I need to get some coke brick. That requires brick and clay. Um, and we're going to set up a coke furnace or coke oven. Uh, was it just one? We need nine. Coke brick. That'll give us three. So we need three of these. And then we have the clay and we need brick. So let's give this a try. What was it like this? And put those in the middle. There we go. Coke brick. All right. So we will go ahead and put this out here. I think we'll just put it into the wall here. So one, two, three. All right, and the point of this is to get uh, some sort of oil that's like extracted from uh, plants or like wood when you burn it. So yeah, I'm gonna get this that up we need three times as much as I thought so I'm gonna get that built and then I need a hammer and then we'll go ahead and start to burn some of that wood okay we got the bricks in place we got the hammer which was easy to build it was just some iron some sticks and some string there we go we have the coke oven and now we put items in here to burn and extract some oil I don't remember what the oil is called, but yeah, it is some sort of oil. So let's find some of our wood. I don't know which one will work. I think they all should be fine. I don't know exactly what the rates are. I think they're different for each one. But we'll start with some spruce wood, and that's doing its thing. So we'll let that run a little bit. Next we'll need a bucket to collect the oil. I keep calling it oil, but I'm not exactly sure if it is oil or not. Um, so yeah, we'll get this going. And then we put the bucket right there. And that should be done. We'll go ahead and let this finish running. That way I can get the correct name of the oil. But the whole plan of the thing is to build the windmill. And we're going to go straight for the improved windmill because we do have all the stuff we can, except maybe the steel. We'll have to find out how to build the steel. Um, but really, we need treated wood planks. And to build those, you need creosote oil. So, and that's what that's doing here. So we have 250. Not quite enough, but it'll fill up once it's done. And we can go ahead and get started doing the treated wood. So I'll be back shortly, and then I'm going to research how to build or make a steel ingot while I wait for this to kind of do its thing. All right, so I figured out how to make steel. Looks like an enderman came through and stole some of my dirt. Um, we need to build a blast furnace, and in order to get a blast furnace, you need to make blast bricks, I think it is. And you need blaze powder to do that, and nether brick. So I need to go make a trip to the nether, and beat up some blaze, and also steal some bricks from the nether fortress. So I'm going to head to, if I can find my way out. Head to the nether. There is 
a place right over here uh, just through this another portal that does have blaze and all the stuff I need so it is where'd you go right here and there's a blaze so I'm gonna head down there and try to kill some blaze without dying and get the stuff I need so I'll be back hopefully with good news and I just fell from way above into the lava and I am dead so we're gonna have to try that again I lost the hammer I don't think anything else really important um, the armor it's not the best thing to lose but we'll give it another shot I need to rearm myself with some armor and all that stuff so we'll give it another shot and as soon as I get geared up all right, round number two. I got ruby helmet and all that, ruby sword, ruby pickaxe. And we'll take a look here. You're still doing your thing. Actually, I'll leave these things here just so we don't lose them again. I got some food. And the cows are ready to give me more food once I get back and need it. So round number two, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. All right, so trip one, we came back with all this stuff. Uh, we only got one blaze rod, so we need one more. Um, and let's go ahead and just kind of put in all this stuff. We got two presents, I guess. Um, let's put boots in here. Bronze pickaxe there, chest plate. Heaven sent machine upgrade. So I don't know what those are, but we'll keep them. And we can just kind of throw the rest of the stuff in here. We'll need this one and that one. But everything else we can go ahead and place away. And then these will go in here. Oops, keep that one. So right click. Don't know what those are. Energy module. Okay, well, we'll just put all these in here too. And then we'll head back for round three. Hopefully it goes as well as round two did. And we can find another blaze. We ruined my farm. And then we'll get the remainder of the nether brick that we need. So I'll be back. And hopefully this one turns out just as well as the second one. Alright, we just got the final blaze rod we needed. So now we have to find our way back. And I need to hop into here. Somewhere. Move. Not with me. Just don't hit you. Alright. There we go. We can probably come out this way. Um, we also ran out of food, which isn't a huge deal, but food is nice to have. Jump over that. That's where I died earlier. I broke in here and just tried to walk forward without looking and fell into the hole. So, yeah, I think we have everything we need. I will meet you guys back at the base and hopefully we can go ahead and construct the blast furnace. Please don't kill me. Well, as usual, I miscalculated the amount of blaze powder I needed. We have one left. And we need 18 more blast bricks. So I am going to head back to the nether another time and try to get everything we need. So I'll be back and hopefully after that we will have a blast furnace built. Alright, I should have everything I need now. Let's go ahead and put these in place 
and hit it with the hammer. And there we go. So now, I think it's iron. And we need some coal or something to burn, I assume. Where did the coal go? I had charcoal somewhere. There it is. So let's head over here, give this a try. It's the first time I'm doing it, so I have no idea if it's actually going to work or not. I assume it will. And that's going to take forever, so we'll just let that run, and then I'll let you guys know if it worked or not. Alright, so we got some slag and steel ingot. So that worked, we got what we needed, and we can now hopefully start on the windmill. So let's head over here, and we'll need some windmill blades, and we need treated wood planks. So we'll get you, and then we had some wood somewhere, I thought we had a bunch. We must have died with it. So we're going to have to collect some trees. Looks like. Can I turn these slabs into... I can. It's still not enough. Alright. We will go collecting some wood and then we can come back to this. Alright, next step is complete. We have eight windmill blades, which we need eight of these. Um, next we need tough fabric, which is industrial hemp fiber and a stick, I hope. So let's get the industrial hemp, which we have here, and we'll just make sure... Uh, where did you go? There we go. Just make sure that this is, yes, it is. So now we can take one of these. What was the recipe? Just do that. So now we got one of those. And we continue the process for all seven of those. And then I'll go ahead and build the windmill because all we need after that is a steel ingot in the middle of those. So I will save you from watching the next step and I'll just go ahead and complete this. Alright, we got everything we need. I built the kinetic dynamo, dynamo and the LV capacitor and some wire cable. Uh, I got the hammer and we should be able to go ahead and sleep. Uh, okay, well we'll just head up since it is almost morning. And then we will try to go ahead and place this up at the top of the mountain and run the wire down to kind of the base area so we can plug that in to the base and have some power all the time instead of having to worry about filling it with coal and all that. And if this works pretty good, then I think I'll move the quarry into this world and kind of mine out some areas below the base. So let's go back down and get some building blocks so we can actually put this up a little bit further in the air. So I'll get that, go ahead and build a platform, and then we'll be right back. Alright, we're up where we want to be. I was going to try to go to 201, uh, Y level 201. But I only had enough blocks to go up to just under 201. So we'll go with 160. And we'll see how that works for us. So hopefully I don't fall. Put that here. And that should start to go. Any second. Actually. I think this is in the way. So we'll head to the back side here. 
and just try to get all this stuff out of the way. And then you should hopefully start to spin. There you go. So you are spinning now, which means we will be getting some power. And I need to set up Uh, I am missing the connectors. So I am going to head all the way back down and then I'll have to come back up and we can go ahead and finish this up. Alright, we got the hard part done. So we got the cable running all the way up to the top there. Uh, the kinetic thing is at the very top, just behind the windmill. And we got a capacitor here, which is collecting energy. So the next part I need to do is get the cable running from here down to the base. So this is a little far. And we'll try here, maybe. Nope, that's not going to work. So still a little far. I thought maybe it was a direct line, but it looks like it is just... Um, So it's not quite a direct line, but that's fine. We'll just go here. We'll try this one. And it's obstructed because you need a clear line of sight. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll get this set up. And then hopefully we can get some power to the base. There we go. So that works. I know that doesn't matter, but that's bugging me. So we'll get rid of that. And yeah, I will finish getting the power run into the base. I need to get some more copper, copper cable. And then we should be able to get some power. All right, we got the power hooked up. I moved the machines over from this corner over here just to make things easier and you'll see that it does have full power here uh, not here and that's because I don't have it connected yet but if we throw in just some gravel or something you can see it is working and the power is just staying at the same spot just because it's keeping up so it's basically the same so if we take out that, it will go back to full. If we do sand, it's a little bit faster. I thought, I guess it's the same. Um, so yeah, this is plenty of power for what we're doing here. We don't have to worry about coal anymore. And I think what I'm gonna do next is try and move in the quarry over in this area, and then we can kind of run some quarry stuff down below and not have to refuel it ever. We can just use uh, the electricity from above. I also need to connect this one, which means I need to make some more connectors. I think it was LV wire connector. So we need some hardened clay and copper. So I do have copper, I need some hardened clay. So yeah, this will be pretty easy. I'll get that going and then we can go ahead and bring in the quarry to this area. All right, we got this running now. It is going through slowly, a little bit faster than it was down below. Um, but we got it set up to go from like 60, Y level 60, like around here, down to about 40 or so. Yeah, this level 
back that way, maybe 10 or 15 blocks. So that'll start to mine out. We'll get some bronze, which we do need. Hopefully we'll get some coal. And I think we can set up the furnace to be electric also. I'd like to give that a shot. That way we don't have to use uh, wood or anything like that. We can just use electricity. So I will give that a try right now and then we'll see how that goes. All right, I got the heater working. It is not the heater, sorry, the furnace. The furnace is working, so there's no fuel in here, and it is using an electric charge. And that'll spit out the aluminum ingot that was completed. Uh, if we come over here, we had to build the external heater and hook that up. It's a mess of wires, um, but eventually I'll get that all fixed and it'll be a little bit nicer looking. So yeah, we still got that going. Uh, here's the items that it's been collecting. Not too many, it's a little bit slow just because it's charging a bunch of other things at the same time and trying to run. Uh, now that's done, so that should speed up again um, and collect the items at its normal speed. So. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like the episode or the series, be sure to hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss any future episodes and haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. And feel free to leave any comments below. And again, if you guys want to join the server, take a look around. It is a whitelist server, so go ahead and join the Discord. The link is in the description. And thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time.